the country. Mr. Speaker will never deny you permission unless it's extremely uh, difficult for him to do so. So just write to the office of Mr. Speaker, and many of you do. Others don't. And those who don't, Mr. Speaker will never instigate anything against you. But if your opponents and other people instigate and they demand evidence from Parliament, if we don't know, we have no reason to withhold that evidence. We get the point, Mr. Minyoro? Yes, Wanjala. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, some of us happen to live right at the border. And uh, sometimes within one hour we have crossed for a drink, we come back, we have crossed for a drink, we have gone there, we will stay there one day. Uh, we need to, well, we suppose well, I just make a call or I send well, you a message. Well, Wanjala. As a legislator, you are presumed to know that we have the East African community with a protocol on free movement of people, goods, and services within the East African community. Especially? Services. <laughs> it's free movement of goods, people, and services across the East African community. So you're crossing to Uganda and back is is not <laughs> within the expected demands. Yes, Honorable Honorable Kajuang. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you. Mr. Speaker, uh, the, the issue that uh, we have diverted uh, a little is really administrative and uh, uh, yours faithfully, yes. you have always uh, directed us accordingly yes. and you are quite aware of these issues. Uh, when uh, the member Honorable Munyoro of Kigumo when, when the member rose on a point of order to raise this matter these are some of the interventions that uh, Mr. Speaker divert us away from business uh, because you know that it does not concern this member really uh, where this the member uh, that was supposed not to be in the chamber really is nor does he uh, help him in any way to, to know where him, the chief to put in this perspective, side. Honorable Kajuang, when we started the house there was no quorum and I asked where the whips were and I asked that I have not seen your whip for quite some time so I was concerned as to whether he was well or unwell. That is how it came up. Now you understand. Understand. In fact, uh, Mr. Speaker, you must be concerned about your house leadership. Absolutely. every time uh, but mr speaker you know that uh, many of us especially uh, those of us who have been here for a few more years including the PAC member that is standing next to you we do that all the time even when we are unwell when we, we are sick when we go to hospital i have had to write to mr speaker that i am i have a hospital sick leave to be out of the chamber. In Thank fact, you. you are one of the best examples that adhere to that standing order. Mm. Thank you very you much. Always write to Mr. Speaker even when you are